Okay, I'm going to show you how to duplicate one of the market pages. So let's navigate over to the markets here and we're going to go ahead and duplicate the Phoenix page. So now that we have this pulled up, um, we're going to basically create a clone of this and then I'm going to go show you how to go in and actually edit some of the changeable elements that are on here. So um, a lot of these pages are going to be custom to the actual specific city. So um, this area, the map, the mailing zone map, the PDF, um, the who we reach section, this mailing schedule, and the local offers are the primary areas. And then we also have the contact form, which is set up to go to a specific set of email addresses per that page. So if we start here at the dashboard of the back end of WordPress, the first thing that you want to do is get the page ready to be adapted. So the two main things you're going to want to create is you hover over contact forms, click on contact forms, and then find the most recent one, which is the Phoenix contact. And I'm going to duplicate this. So click duplicate. And it's going to take you to a page where it has it set up as a copy. So the first thing you're going to do is rename this. We're going to do the Tucson page. I'm going to call it Tucson contact. It will automatically change this once you hit save. Um, next thing you want to do is go to the mail. And right now I have my email in here as filler. But what you want to do is change the email address to this to the specified recipients. So um, maybe it's etc. So you can go ahead and type in an email address, hit the comma, space, and then add another. You could keep going uh, until you're, you're content with how many people are on here. The next thing is the from. So I'll go ahead and default this post video, but it will be something along the lines of this, so nobody replies back to the email. Um, subject, uh, this is where I would change, um, oh, I'm sorry, we have to keep it on site domain here, my, my apologies. I'll move this to rsvp.us. Um, here we're going to change the subject to rsvp. You can change all of this too in the back end on how you want this set up. Um, but basically, that's how we're going to run the emailer system. Now, if we look at the form here, um, we can create fields in these forms simply by, um, say, we wanted to add your name, email, phone number, business name. Let's, we could type in um, maybe a website. You would click add a new field, hit text, give it the name website, say that it's required, and then hit insert. And then for the placeholder, I copy placeholder and the two quotes. And then I just basically place it right directly into the brackets and change it to website. And that's how you add a field. Now, on the mail side, the system is pretty complex in that it's you can set up its own mailer system. So let's go ahead and save this so we don't lose it. And if we hit the mail tab, you'll notice on save it changed this here to Tucson contact. On the mail tab, this is what um, it's going to send from the mailer. So here are your available data pieces that you can pull from this form and send in mail. So I like to take these and copy these. And then you can go ahead and delete all the data. And I just do a paste. And I would simply just do something like this. name so basically you're typing in what the field is fetching
just like that. Then you also want to, this is a message here, so you could change this to whatever you want um, or leave it out. And something tidy like that would work. And you always want to use the HTML content uh, type, so it sends it as um, pure HTML. And then you can also change your messaging here. So um, when this form is submitted like this, it pulls up a green message right here. This is what the message uh, section in here means. So the message that you see here, thank you for your message that has been sent, is obviously changed right here. And then if it's a failure uh, here, validation, etc. So you have the option to change all of the messaging accordingly per form, which is pretty cool. So we'll leave this to the defaults. And you can just simply hit save. So now you have your Tucson contact form saved hopefully with your Tucson uh, email address recipients here and your subject system. The next thing you want to do is go into the table data. So on this table here, if we go to mail schedule, currently it's just this JPEG that's set up and it's kind of ugly and not really, you know, not really usable um, for us. So let's go into the back end here and let's find table press. And then you just hit all tables. And here's our um, Phoenix mailing schedule. So we can just go ahead and hit copy. It creates a duplicate. It says copy of. You can hit edit. And we would just change this to Tucson mailing schedule. And I have this set up uh, to use what's called Font Awesome um, in my screencast. It's not really showing all of the data in here, but Font Awesome is an icon set that basically displays these icons here. So it's, it shows a null icon, shows a green check icon, etc. And these are universally understood for search engines. So what we want to do is look at how the markup is on these actual check marks. So if I copy um, a null mark and I put it into a code editor, this is basically what it shows. So it's showing icon, the I stands for icon, style is color C4, 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 which is a grayed out color. It's giving it its own class and it's calling the FA ban icon and it's got its area hidden to true. So if, I, if we search uh, font awesome here and look at their available icons that we can use, it's pretty endless on what you could place. So here's all different icons that you could call. So let's go to, let's search for no, or let's find um, this, a similar icon here. You could use an empty, a battery empty, if you wanted to. Um, let's go back a screen. Here's the ban icon. So you'll see here that it spits out a line of code, which is exactly the line of code we're using here, we're just giving it a style designation to make it look gray. So in our table editor, everywhere that there's a no on the schedule, it's that particular code. And everywhere that there's a yes is the green check code. So let's look at Tucson's schedule and we have null across the board here, just like we have here on Phoenix. And we have January, March, and September as checks. So let's look at our code. I can make that bigger. So January, I'm going to just paste the check code here. What was it? Uh, March and September. So January. 
March and September. Let's delete that one. That's a check. Cool. So the rest of these are going to be ban, and you can see where it says ban here. So I'm just going to copy one of these and paste them in to my empty sectors and just scroll across. And that should do it. So everything else you can leave alone. You don't need to mess with anything else. Hit save changes. And if you go back to all tables now, you'll see that this is set up. Now, you're going to want to grab the short code for this to render it on a web page. So you can render these uh, tables on any pages you want. So if we hit show short code, it's this one right here. So I'm going to copy this short code and keep that handy. And now we'll go into actually duplicating the page. So those are the two things you want to set up um, outside of the actual page editor. So if we go into pages and hit all pages, let's gonna, we're going to go find the Phoenix page and we're going to hit clone. And now that we've cloned it, we'll find a Phoenix, Arizona page and then the draft. This is the cloned page. So hit edit. We're going to go in here and we're going to change this to Tucson. And then we're going to also alter this URL, but since we've copied that table section, we're going to look here and find where we're showing the table, which is here. And I'm going to edit that. And I will paste in the new table ID and hit save. Perfect. Now let's go up here and copy the title and paste Tucson, Arizona and hit OK. And then now the next thing we want to edit is this main head section here. So let's go ahead and you can't read the white text on white but hit edit on the text editor. And I flip it into text view, and I see that it says targeting only the top homes in the Tucson, Arizona area. And we just hit save. And if you want to edit the background image of this, which is actually, it's right here in design options. Here is the background that we're currently using with a bunch of homes. We could um, just simply hit the X button and then the plus button. And it'll ask you to browse for a new file, which you want to try to make 1920 uh, pixels wide by at least 800 high. Um, let's change it to say this picture here. And then you wait for it to load up. Once you see it here, you hit save and it'll change it on the front end. Next thing we're going to look at is this other blank area where we have white text on a dark background here. And this says reach your perfect prospect. So you could change that to whatever you wanted. Here's the video player. You could change the video to a new video by simply hitting edit and pasting a new video link. And you leave all this alone. Here is where we get into the map for the zone. So if we go back to the Tucson page here on the main website, the old website. Here's our map. So let's right click on it and save image as and get rid of this gibberish stuff here. Let's do it again, save image as. give it a friendly name like Tucson mailing schedule map and then go into your single image and hit edit and hit the X on that and then the upload button and then you're gonna upload the Tucson so I have a bunch of stuff on my desktop but here it is and make sure you give it the alt text the caption description text here once it loads up
and I paste it throughout here so it matches here, here, and here. Hit set. And it'll show here. Just hit save. And then the only other thing you're going to need to do is grab that PDF on the old website. So it'll open up this PDF here. I download the PDF. And I'll delete some of this um, encryption data here. I'll hit save. And then I just go back to this button edit. And you're going to end up putting the link here. So in a new tab where it says media to get this PDF on the server, hover over media. And then I usually like to have the media manager always opened up in another tab. You're going to hit add new, select files, Tucson map. It'll upload it, then click on it. And your URL will be spit out right here. I copy that. I go into my button editor and then I just add the button. Just like that. I hit save and it'll show you that it's changed here. The next thing is who we reach. This is just a basic text edit. So you can edit the text that's written by just copying this and pasting it in there and to save time on this already long video I'll, I'll spare you but you just simply hit edit and then you would change this to say maybe it was 250,000 you would change this to Tucson hit save and save it for each little section here here is our mailing schedule we did this when we first opened up the page so this will render the Tucson um, table. These are what's called short codes in WordPress. This is standard um, data in here that can be changed per page, but you can leave it alone as is. Here's your video stories and who we are, and this you can change. This is your thousands of companies trust RSVP. This is running off of a, a global carousel with client logos that we can add. Here's your local offers. So you want to hit edit on this. And let's go to the old website and find local offers. And copy that URL. And let's change the button text to Tucson. And here's your link. Paste the new link and hit save. And the last piece of the puzzle here is the contact form. So you're going to find where it says contact form 7. Hit the edit button and change the contact form to your newly created contact form, which is the Tucson contact. And you're going to hit save. And then you hit update. Now once that finishes loading, you can right click on the paged published section here to check your work. Once it's done loading up, and you'll see that it created the URL up here, nice friendly URL. Here's your new image that you added, targeting only the top homes in the Tucson, Arizona area. Here's your video, here's your new updated content, here's your new mailing zone map. There, here's your new table, your mailing schedule table. And also, if you're logged in to the back end, you can just hit edit here, and you could edit your table right from the back end here. It'll take you right to the mailing schedule section. So that's a pretty nice feature. And yeah, that should do it. Um, if we have any questions about this video, um, send them over my way, and I can hopefully answer them for you. And here's your new form, by the way, with um, the added website field. And yeah, that should be good to go. So then you just go into your page editor and you just duplicate and make another page. And to change the link here in the market section, let me go over, I'll touch on this briefly, but I'll do another video about this map. But for the, you want to add the Tucson link now in the markets. So if you go to pages, all pages, find the markets page, this is the summary page. 
if you scroll down to here, this is the link we want to change. So click on the edit text block and grab the URL of the Tucson page, which is this URL. You click on it once and I hit edit. I paste the new link and I hit the blue check and I hit save and update. And then from the new, from the marketing page, it will show Let me refresh the page. It will show the new link, which is the new local page you just created. So that in a nutshell is how you would add a city page and duplicate.